What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Armchair GM Sports Network and welcome back to the NHL Draft to Glory mode in NHL 21 right here in the Armchair GM Sports Network. I'm Kyle and here to continue on with the Stockholm Stingrays as we are here in the 2023-2024 season. Uh, as you guys saw in the last video, we had a very long off season, and I do want to say there was a comment a few videos back. Uh, if you guys missed those videos, they're live on the channel. Make sure you hit the like button, the subscribe button. You know the deal. But there was a comment that said, uh, uh, kind of give like a, a theory of what should I, I should do with the draft. And I kind of want to do it. I don't have the draft screen in front of me. But I'll see if I can put the tweet up. Um, he basically said that uh, when the draft comes, I should look at drafting the highest ranked Swedish player in the first round. And then the second to the seventh round draft from the SHL. So I think I'm going to do that from now on with the draft. So that's what I'm going to do. So thank you very much for, to whoever that was. I'm going to take your advice and apply it to these videos. So if you guys, again, if you leave me your comments down below, I might use them for future videos. So let me know down below. So we're here to start the season. As you've seen the last one, I went and filled the roster with... Uh, players to get to the cat floor and yada 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 and here is the lineup for the next season we are going to grow this team and i and i, I want to grow around i want to pick a few players and grow them around them and grow them to be the, the 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 main stars in this team and that's number one par norgren i know he works well on the fourth line but i'll, I'll get to that in a second here it has to do with the coaches uh we're going to keep him on the first line and we're going to grow the hell out of him he's going to be our sniper look at that shooting category uh, so we're going to grow the team around Par Norgren. We're also going to grow the team around Christopher Olawa. So another medium top six player. Center two-way forward. I know I hate the two-way, but uh, I think we're we're good to grow the uh, team around him. German born, <laughs> but drafted him out of the SHL. Uh, same with Norgren. Um, and he'll play alongside Lawson Krauss, who we signed to a one-year contract to help out. Uh, also, I want to kind of... Uh, minorly grow the team around a uh, Tumas Alavera. We'll see how he grows. He's 21 already. We'll see how much growth he gets, but uh, also going to consider him uh, also. And no one really else. The bottom three, I'd like to see what would happen. I mean, Oscar Kvist, high bottom six. He could be a solid third liner for us for the future, so we'll hang on to him. Um, other than that, uh, obviously we're also going to build a team around mainly around Jesper Ekholm, our stud defenseman who's a medium elite up to an 81 overall now it took him second overall into the 2021 draft. Um, we're going to build a team around him and Oli Timonen, who is a medium top four. We took him 31st overall in the 2022 draft. So those defensemen as well. Now, get to my second point here is I went looking for a coach that could definitely fit better. Uh, obviously the coach that we have now does fit. With a lot of the rookies in the team, but only fits with them on the bottom six role. I want them to at least fit into the top six role. So I have went and coach scouted a coach that I want to bring on. So I'll show you guys who he is. Um, Rivers, I mean, you you did a good job for us, but uh, we're going to move on from you. So we're going to hire him as an assistant coach and then promote him and then fire Rivers. So I found him. He was in the NHL assistant category. Let me just sort by name here i remember his last name there he is heenanen so we're gonna hire kai hanonen uh gonna hire him as an nhl assistant coach just gonna lock him in here see if we can lock him in for five years at uh whatever it is here whatever i can max it out as one million for five years let's offer contract nhl assistant coach which we need hopefully he accepts that and also want to get, grab a goalie coach for the uh, AHL there to help our rookie goalie. Someone with a good teaching. Got an A-minus teaching here. That's good enough. We'll sign them. Four years. Let's just, you know, let's get him locked in. He'll be an AHL goalie coach. Whatever they want. Let's max it out here. 470000 Ryder Watt. Hopefully he can be a decent goalie coach for us. And let's advance a few days here and see if we can get them on the team. I really want that Heinenen guy uh, on this team as our coach here. So let's advance a couple of days. Kai Heinenen, there we go. Got him. We'll promote him in a second here. Let me just get Watt signed. Uh, happy to join the team. All right, so we got that goalie coach as well. So let's uh, assign that coach. Let's uh, goodbye to Rivers. Actually, can we demote him and keep him as assistant coach? Oh, shoot. No, 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 no. I didn't want to go to here. What happens if I... I guess I just have to fire him. 
Yeah. Okay. So rivers will fire you, and we're going to make Heinen in it the NHL head coach. All right. I forgot to show you guys uh, the chemistry he works with. Yeah. So if you guys see here, I home almost a full bar. Um, Aliwa, I mean, it, it's 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 pretty much three quarters. Same with Norgren, three quarters, and uh, even uh, Johansson down here, who was one of the defensemen uh, that got, has a, a decent potential. But I feel like this guy could be a little bit of a better fit. So what we need now is an assistant coach. So I wonder if I can just go back in and get Rivers back as an assistant coach. Um, what was he? Was he already an assistant coach? And we made, yeah, there he is. Get him as an assistant coach. You know what? Whatever. Let's give him five years. NHL assistant coach. I know we just fired him. I don't know if it, the game, if if that's reactionary. I wonder if he does. He know that we just fired him. Let's just give him some money here. See if he accepts it. One point five for five years. I imagine he'd accept that. But unless the game's smart enough to say that he's gonna come back and say, "No, you just fired me. I don't want to be here." Um, really wasn't my intention. I just wanted to, to demote him. Okay, no, he's back. So we got Brian Rivers back at least as an assistant coach. So let's see. I don't think it does anything to the chemistry, but we'll see how it goes. Oh, we got a plus one. There we go. At least got a plus one for that line. Let's see where they work best now. Perfect. So now an organ works best for the first line and the fourth line. Uh, Aliwa, fourth, first line as well. Uh, I don't think there's anybody else that could make it a plus three. Is there anybody? No. So we'll keep Lawson Kraus there at least. Um, Alevra... Works better on the fourth. I wouldn't mind moving him down just to gain some chemistry. Neil, where do you work better? Fourth line. If I moved you down, could you get at least a plus three here? Can we get a plus three? Oh, we got a plus three here with Numelin. Okay, so we got a plus three at least down here to grow them. Uh, where does Kavis work better? First. Ooh. No, I, think, I don't think it. Yeah. Or fourth. No, we're going to keep him there. And moving him anywhere here doesn't do anything. Olestad, no. Lundin, no. So we'll keep it like this. So that'll be our starting lineup. Uh, ooh, we got plus threes across the board for D, which is a big help here. Uh, I don't, let's see. I'm just going to see if there's a plus five potential anywhere. No. Okay. So plus threes all around. It works out as well. All right. I love that. Love to see that. Uh, our AHL squad. That's what it is. Doesn't really matter right now. We don't have anyone down there that needs to be called up yet. Um, so there you go. There's our team and we get right into some simulating guys. So, um, yeah, I don't think we need to do anything else. Nope. Um, maybe just assign the scouts, make sure we got them here and assign. So we got our four here. Uh, potential character potential but there's a lot of potential um you know what let me take one let me take the the a one a plus one and actually use him so let's just kind of get rid of everybody here and make sure he does we had i think we saw like this is strength and weakness We got a lot of people here. I think we got a, a few later later rounds. So we got from two to seven. It looks like we're going to be okay. Uh, but we'll see where the first Swedish born player in the first round ends up being. So I will take a look at the draft class in a sec here. Let me just make sure I get to at least the 400s here. Um, there we go. All right. So we'll let the auto scout do the rest of that. Um, you know what? You know what we should do? Is just hire as many scouts as possible for the SHL, really. Um, so let's just uh, be in Europe, I believe. I mean, it doesn't really matter where they're from as long as they can scout good in the SHL. I mean, that's all I care about. SHL A+, plus, perfect. We'll hire you. Whenever it takes six years, we'll hire you. We'll hire you. Are you good in the SHL? You should be. I think these all... I oh, know a, a minus. We got another A plus. Oh, it's a good thing I looked. Is Steen? Yeah, Steen. We'll get you in there. Nicholas Steen. Is there anybody here that's good with the SHL? There we go. SHL A plus. There we go. B A minus. 
minus a get another a plus here all a's a is good enough five years ninety five thousand there we go so we hired a couple of scouts there we'll get them signed get them scouting away get some perfect scouting going for that shl so let's just advance a few days to make sure they get on the team here i believe there was five of them one five or four two three four is there a fifth no okay so you guys know the deal i will sim all the way to the end of the year fast forward and see where we get to what are we at for time uh we are at the 10 minute mark we might be able to actually get to the the draft so i'll put on the fast forward mode and i will uh see you guys at the end of that simulation so give me a one sec <laughs> Right, guys we're here at the end of the season i think this is like the best worst season we've had so far 11 65 and 6 oh boy man 28 points in total for sure hopefully not getting screwed out of the first overall pick but uh nevertheless let's take a look and see how the team looks so uh par norgren leading the team with four nine points look at that up to an 80 overall that's I love to see it. like don't mind the plus my issue is just like a race out of there we're not looking at that but uh, 26 goals that is pretty good for him at home up to an 83 overall uh, Aliwa 76 that's still not bad oh did he drop in potential no okay meeting top six okay um, Kraus Neil Kavis did he go up 76 I think he went up by one 72 here do we have anything crazy from anybody a bunch of 60s uh, nothing crazy, it looks like. All right. Oh, we have uh, 71 by Ramberg on D. Uh, teaming in up to 69 on defense, so that's all right. It was a Johansson to a 62, so you never know. Uh, goalies, let's see what we got. <laughs> Eight wins and three wins. Okay, uh, 76 and 73, so no movement from the goalies. We'll see how the offseason jump does. Um, so... Uh, those are the points. We've seen some of the overall growth. And uh, I think now we'll take a look at the draft class. I think that's what we'll do. Let's view draft class. And see who the first Swedish-born player is. All right. So there it is. Bang. So even if we don't get that first overall pick, we, if we drop, we can still get Matthias Bang. The sniper. All right. I like that. This guy might be a very good uh, sniper for us for the future. So we have Matthias Bang. Um, let's see who else is in the first round. Projected a lot of Canadian players. Do we have any other Swedish players? 29. That's still considered first round. So either that or Robert Soderstrom, which obviously we're going to take Bang. So there's that. And look, we got. Uh, ooh, so Paulson, beginning of the second round. Ooh. If our second round pick will be right at the beginning here, we might be able to get Ola Paulson. All right, I like that. So we have a, a gem player that's Swedish. Um, is he in the SHL? Is that the SHL? I can't tell. Did I, did I just miss it completely there? He is Ola Paulson. All right. Uh, but there is Lassard, who is actually ranked 23rd overall to be in the SHL. So, um, and we got uh, Soderstrom, too. I know that I just went over. So, we're definitely going to be going with Bang. Um, but as for our second round pick, which is going to be fairly high, I don't think we're going to be able... We're not going to be able to get Lassard or Soderstrom. I don't see them dropping. So, it looks like we might be able to get Paulson, which is a gem steal. If we can get him, that would be fantastic. Other than that, we have Gorg Kress. He looks like a pretty good defenseman to take. And Tella doesn't look that bad. Uh, we got Wilding. Doesn't look that bad either. So, ooh. Lilia. Okay, we might have ourselves a low elite right there. So, that's pretty good. 
All right, then that, uh, we got a low top six. That has some potential. You never know. It could be another low elite. And other than that, nothing else. So let's just get right into it and get to the draft. So, just got to advance the day here. NHL season complete. Yada, yada, yada. Let's just sim into the draft. See who wins the Stanley Cup. All that jazz. Let you guys take a look at those if you are interested. So let's just, uh, I'm not going to do the, <laughs> the corny music fast sim here. I should be able to get through it quick here. I think it just comes up a couple of times of scouting. Uh, yep, there's right on cue. There's the first one. I believe there's one more before the end and showing the finals. Nope. Uh, Tampa Bay Lightning win the Stanley Cup in the Bingham, Bimington Devils win the AHL Calder. So let's just take a look at... Uh, let me stop, Sim. Let me just see, give you guys the looky look at the awards. For those curious Stanley Cup, Leafs, Presidents, Winnipeg, and Tampa were in the finals. Malkin, Art Ross, Malkin Hart, Heiskanen, Lady Bing, Marner, LaRue goes to Nashville. Uh, point, Leonard... Allmark, there you guys go. Ooh, Bill Masterson goes to teaming in our defenseman, winning an award. Okay, I never thought I would see that, but look at that. Teaming in, what a stud. Keeping him, boys. Keeping him. All right, and that Malkin looks like he had a massive year at this point in his career. Crazy. Uh, looks like Norgan went up to an 82. He's already getting some growth here, so let's send to the draft. Do we end up with the first overall pick, or do we get screwed over? We do. Montreal moves from 2-1, to one, and we move from 1-2-2, two, two, which is okay. We're still taking a bang, getting our bang for our buck at number 2 overall. We do definitely don't have anyone retiring unless James Neal did, but that doesn't matter. Continue Sim. Let's take a look. Ryan Getzlav is now a coach with the Minnesota Wild. Interesting. Uh, do we have any coach retirements on our end? Stockholm Stingrays, Yuri Koryliak. I think he was a associate coach. Uh, I don't remember who our AHL squad's name is. I think it started with an M. I don't see them anywhere. But it uh, looks like we just have to replace the associate coach. Uh, don't need to do draft interviews. We're getting banged for our buck. Can't I'm going to keep saying that. Uh, so, yeah, let's get into the draft and draft her up. Get to our number two overall pick. Let's see who Montreal ends up taking number one. They take a guy named Mullen. 80 overall sniper, Maximus Mullen. Oof. What a name, Maximus Mullen. Good for the Habs. Let's make our pick here and get a bang for our buck. Where is he? Where's Mr. Bang? There he is. Matthias Bang. We are passing up on all these players because they are not Swedish born. Matthias Bang, right winger, sniper, projected to go seventh. We're taking him at two. We are reaching. We see something in him that no one else does. Welcome to the team, Mr. Bang. 65 overall, medium top six. Yikes. So I'd love to have hoped he was a medium elite. We could probably grow him maybe into a medium elite if we play him right, but already 81s across the board for shooting right off the bat. So he's going to be a very good sniper for us on the right side. So. Cannot uh, be mad at that. So let me just see. Round two. Yes, we have that first pick. So we have a chance to get our boy Paulson. So let's just sim to that pick. Hopefully no one picked them up in that first round. Crossing my fingers. Soderstrom got taken, though. 64 overall, medium top six. And there was another person. Wasn't there Soderstrom and someone else? Is it Lassard? I think it was Lassard. Yeah, top six. So that's all right. Uh, so yeah, we can get Soderstrom, the gem. See what he ends up being. There he is. Or sorry, Paulson. Ola Paulson. Welcome to the Stockholm Stingrays. Ola Paulson is a medium top six playmaker left wing. So we got the right wing sniper in the left wing playmaker. And we just need to get the center power forward. And we have a line, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that. This draft ends up being very successful. So thank you to whoever commented that one. Looks like it's looking to be really cool so far. So, sim to our next pick. What do we got? Round number three. Um, da, 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 da. SHL, right? Yeah, SHL. Wrong category here. SHL. What do we got? Is it what? Yeah, it's widening. Or we can reach a little bit four spots down and take Abraham Kobayashi, apparently. this <laughs> Playing in the SHL. Three years. Shoot pinch. Hmm. Or do we take 
the I think Nicholas Whiting might be better. Yeah, it looks like he's going to be the better player. Both say, uh, ooh, who is that? Braden Quint. I think, could we get him by 80? Ooh, I don't know. But Lilia is also at 99. Might have a decision to make here. So, okay, let's see. We're going to take... We're going to take Whiting. So let's see where 80 and 99 are. So that's 65, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Not going to be able to take Quinn. 99 we should be able to get. Yeah. So if 99 were supposed we're, we're, we could snag 99. So for sure... We have ourselves a uh, potential medium elite or low elite player. We're not going to be able to get Quint. Kind of sucks. So we got to take either Whiting or Kobayashi. I'm leaning more towards Whiting. Nicholas Whiting. So I'm going to take him. Nicholas Whiting, welcome to the Stockholm Sting Race. Low top four, 62 overall. Like that. Let's just see where it, uh, Kobayashi ends up being. Let me just sim a few picks ahead here. Uh, oh, Osgood. Is that a Chris Osgood? <laughs> uh, Musel. Anyone going to take Kobayashi here? Oda. Kobayashi. Medium top six. 62. Looks like we got the better pick. Yeah. End up getting the better pick here. So pick 97. Ooh, really close to... Um, hopefully no one reached and got him. No, Lilia, there he is. Picking him. Kale Lilia, welcome to the team. What do we got? A medium elite offensive defenseman. What a hit. There we go, boys. I love it. We got another medium elite offensive defenseman. Love it. What a pick there. Solid. This is a solid draft so far. So let's sim it to pick number 129 and see what we can snag. Who do we have from the SHL? We have Hanu Taipolis. Ooh, might not be too bad. Uh, how old is he? 18. Yeah, it might be not bad. We got Sven Klingberg. Another Klingberg defenseman coming into the league. The scout wants us to take Jesper Bergquist. And you don't blame him. He's not too bad. Um, or do we reach for Lorenz? I think Lorenz we can probably get with the next pick. So uh, I'm going to lean towards Typhlus. Offensive defenseman for sure. And we got no play. We got a playmaker here with Phil Pula, which no. I don't think Stapleton's any. Yeah, yeah, no. We're going to go with the sniper, I think. Or do we take another offensive defenseman chance? Uh, I'm leaning more towards Hainu Typolis. Let's take Typolis. A little bit of lag there. And low top nine. Sniper. Not bad. Could grow into something. You never know. It could be a bottom pairing sniper. I like that. So we'll keep him. We'll move on here to round number six. What do we have left? Looks like it's Berkquist, the guy that they originally want to take, is available still. Or we reach for Stapleton or Lorentz. So Lorentz, C, 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 D, C, C. So we got C's and one D with Berkquist. We got, oops, we got B's in there. So obviously Berkquist is the, the better pick. Uh, Norgren, we got nothing scouted on him. We got nothing scouted on these guys. Kim Sundin. Um, yeah, I think we're going to take Berkquist, center left winger. So a double position. Why is it so laggy there? God, gotta get myself an Xbox. Uh, gotta get the next gen. Definitely gotta get the next gen. Medium top nine though, in round number six. Can't complain about that. A center left winger. Jesper Bergfist. Welcome to. <laughs> or staying in Sweden. Sweden. Stockholm Stingrays. And what do we got for SHL? Lorenz is still available. Let's take a chance on him. Another left winger. Clayton Lorenz. Low top six. Power forward. If he fits in the middle, he could be that guy. All right. Clayton Lorenz. Welcome to... to uh, that's our last pick. Welcome to the Stockholm Sting Race. All righty. There we go. That is our draft. I think we had a pretty solid draft here in building this team for the future. So what we need to do now is go to the resign. Yada, yada, yada. I believe there's actually some rookies that we need to sign to contracts. So that'll be fun. Yep, yeah, looks like we have a lot. So, center. Uh, let's we use this guy for the AHL. We might be able to actually use him for the NHL. 
to get to the cat floor because we're at 74. What does this guy want? We've made it one way. Can we get him? Can we? Can this guy be the? Let's do it in 10. You know what? Or, or 15s. At least get to the 15 mark with this guy. So we got 15. So it's gonna be the one. So we got. Uh, wait, what is he? A two away? No, we'll let him walk. Release. Um, die war. Was this guy we drafted? No, he was a, in the AHL. Um, offer contract. Okay, yeah, two way. He can stay in the AHL. Uh, Musel, AHL, I believe. Doesn't want to stay. That's fine. You can go. Dolan was the AHL. Let's just keep them into the AHL. Yep, that's fine. Phillips, AHL. As long as they don't want money, that's fine. They can stay down there. What do we got? Alex, is this guy a draft pick? No. AHL, that's fine. We all can always use people for the AHL. We'll keep them. Bergfist, 20 years old, actually, already. Wow, so this guy can play... Or he's going to be playing right away, so let's sign him up. Left winger, so Paulson. Uh, or wait, we got to start at the top here. Kraus. Um, we'll wait on him. Let's just sign the rookie. So Kavis up to a 77. Got to give him a contract. Um, what is he asking for? Eight years. Just give him eight years at 2.6. That's fine with me. For sure, we'll keep him on the team. Bjorkstrand does not want to stay. Uh, neither did uh, Kavis. Bjorkstrand, though. Kind of want to keep him to see how he turns out. So let's offer him a big contract. Eight years at uh, 2.5. Got to get Paulson on the team. Paulson, let's give him a contract. Graham, I believe, is a draft pick of ours, right? Yep. Stockholm. Medium top nine, 62 now. Let's give him a contract. Pedersen up to a 61. Oh, what? Give him a contract. Going to be in the AHL. Where can we look at our contracts? They're 43 out of 50. Got to keep an eye on that. Uh, Typeless, they're in the 50s. We'll wait for them to at least get into their 60s. Uh, bang, got to sign him. Our first round pick. Second overall pick, to be real. Get him signed. Um, defenseman, all right. Um, wow, we can let Walk. Anderson... You know what? We'll wait for... I'll sign these guys for the AHL later. Let me just release them. Is this guy a draft pick of ours? No. Let's just release. 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 All right. Do we draft this guy? No. Release. All right. Whiting. Got to give him a contract. He's in his 60s for sure. There you go. Um, Landeskog. 61, 7th D. I kind of will we'll let that fizzle out. If he's a 70, he's not going to turn into anything that's going to be useful. Uh, Klotz, and, you know, we'll wait for... You know, we'll wait on Lily. I know he's a medium elite. Actually, you know, he's a medium elite. He can play. We're gonna, we'll get him matched up with someone to play. Goalies, what do we got? Lundqu Eric Lundquist. Um, we'll just release him. I know we have to get to the cat floor, but we got uh, Connor and Hagos still. AHL will have Mackinnon, and we'll sign someone for him. Yeah. Yeah, we'll sign someone for him. Um, so let's go to Advanced Day. Get everyone here. Ooh, do we get everybody? Let me just... I can do this quick here. All right. So Kraus, we still got to decide on. What do we have? 71. Yeah. Uh, Dalin, you know, we'll just release this guy. I'll fill in the AHL myself. Did we get everybody that needs a contract? Landis Gog, no. We're not touching him yet. And, yeah, I'm not touching these guys yet. Looks like I'm pretty sure we got everybody on the team. Yeah, we're good to go. Looks like next year, though, we'll be signing a lot of rookies to their contracts. Um, so, let's just get uh, Kraus back. Because he did help, I think, with chemistry. Does he help with the current coach? I think he did. I don't remember. You know what? Well... We'll let him walk because we have a new coach now. We'll see where uh, we can get other people to match the, the current coach's chemistry. So, so far, Echo up to an 85. That's a very good growth. That's a very big growth. This guy could be like an 88 by next season. Even Norgren up to an 82 is also a very good uh, very good growth there. Uh, Ollie was actually up to a 79. That's good. He looks like he's growing as well. Um, Kavis up to a 77. Other than that, nothing really else. 
uh, teaming in up to a 71. So he may get to the mid 70s by next year, maybe, or at least a 73. Uh, Sonnenberg, 71. Okay, so not bad. So we got a little bit of growth from people, which is uh, really good, especially our top ones. Uh, the guys we're building our team around these three right here. Uh, and it looks like we're going to give look at getting uh, contract extensions. Hopefully you lock them in for eight years. For uh, and That will at least help with the salary cap issue as well. Um, so what we need to do is just sim it to the free agency, and I think I will do all that. And see you guys in the next video, and we'll start another round of simulating and all that stuff. So I'll see you guys next time. Make sure you're hitting the like button. Leave me down your comments below. Hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you guys right back here next time with the Stockholm Stingrays in the NHL 21 Draft to Glory series. Take it easy.